Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Andrew, Knickknack Twin. And I just got back from Dallas. I was babysitting my brother Aaron and my brother-in-law Matthew. Uh, they're three dogs. Pete's treasures, you know, Pete, Henry, and Benjamin. And I also have been buying stuff. And I want to show you what, what I got. So, I'm from Dallas. And I don't get to visit very often. Maybe three, four times a year. And I crave Brahms because I used to go here as a kid and we used to always go with my family and we'd get a burger and a chocolate malt and fries and so that's what I did and I had to get one of their bags for like three dollars I almost wanted to buy two but I have too many tote bags do y'all have a bunch I just donated like 15 today I actually took a whole carload of stuff to donate so to make room for all this but yeah, let's continue. Uh, this is this is fun. This is Raising Cane's. This is a chicken joint. I guess I just love fast food, y'all. Who doesn't? But this is kind of gimmicky. It is gimmicky, but it's their cane sauce. It's their delicious cane sauce and nail polish. <laughs> I collect food advertising, obviously. Y'all know that, so I had to get that. And I'm just going to be sporadic. I went to Daiso with my mom. And I had to get these cute little stickers. Now, Daiso is a Japanese little dollar store, and it was $2.25 each. Look at that. I'm hungry now, but I can't eat those. Well, where should we go next? Oh, I got this like three weeks ago. Kyle Library Thrift. Oops. This is Port Marion. Botanical Garden. I've sold lots of their stuff, and I just had to get this for $2. It's Heart's Ease. They're like little violets. And, yeah, it's just, I, I might just buy this for myself, you know, because it's not worth selling. But I had a little thimble. I actually have, oh, there's a little crack. I never noticed that. This was $2, but Heinz Sweet Pickles, isn't that cute? I have a whole bunch of these advertising thimbles. I don't know if I have this one, but it was one of those Franklin Mint. I don't know if this is Franklin Mint. Um, It just says 1980 Fine Porcelain. Hmm, I don't know, but it's just too cute. And I had to get this for 50 cents, Area 51 Alien Center, Nevada. I went there, and this was my favorite find that day. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is. Now, they have pins in the glass case. I never buy jewelry there except for pins. This was 50 cents. To me, it, it looks art deco, kind of Egyptian, like the, maybe not the Eye of Horus, but I want to look this up. Now, there's no jewels. I believe it's just costume jewelry. And I'm just, I really love it. So I want to find out about that. So I, I haven't looked it up completely. Oh, yeah, and I got this. Does anyone know what this is? I thought it looked cute, and I don't buy ties really for myself anymore. But this is Tamagotchi, 1997. Oh, for some reason I thought it was 87, but I, I thought 87 was too old because I remember these in the 90s. This was $2. Now... This only goes for about 10 bucks, which I was sad, but I had to get it. I just had to. Now for watching my, you know, fur baby nephews or whatever, Aaron and Matthew, they went on a cruise and they got me a blanket and this for my little tiki area. It's ceramic. I love it so much. Reminds me of the enchant enchanted tiki room. I almost said enchanted. And they also got me Havana Club. This is Cuban rum. You can't buy it in the United States, but you can bring it in. But he gave me this. They gave me this for watching their dogs. So thank you so much. It's Añejo three years. And then they bought two of each, and so they let me buy the other dark one. So I just, yeah, I've had that American Havana Club. Now I can say I have the Cuban, you know, tiki people and people who like rum say Cuban rum is especially good. And, you know, I, I'm i collecting rum over there, so I'm not sure. We'll, we'll find out, but I'm sure it's fantastic. They also got me some coffee. 
Thank you so much. And some Mexican vanilla. I hear it's the best. So let's move on. Oh, this is some things I bought on Amazon and eBay. I just wanted to show you, and I want to talk about the Piz. Now, uh, this was, I found out that the Piz had this little, you know, uh, book. Now, the Piz died. I know about the Piz because I went to Tiki Tolteca in New Orleans. And in New Orleans, uh, Tiki Tolteca had a tiki mug by the Piz. And uh, they said, you know, there wasn't going to be any more because he passed away, unfortunately. But he was an artist. And this was brand new for, I paid $14, including shipping on eBay. And it's just these for zombie, yokel, Xmas tree. Look, Woody, it's tiki. It's just a kind of little tiki book I wanted to get for my... Ooh, think. It's like, right, think. For my little tiki books. Just my book collection. It's not the best book, but, um, well, in my opinion, I mean, I like the art. But I just wanted to get it. I didn't know what to expect. And I saw this at an antique mall in Waco for like 12 bucks. And what I do is I scan them and buy them on eBay for five or six dollars. I paid 650 for this one. And it's bubble bath containers. I know that's very silly, but I just love looking at this kind of stuff. It's like a reference book. You know, it also kind of starts the conversation once you look through them, you know, what's out there. And yes, I don't go by prices. Obviously I go by eBay sold listings, Terra Peak listings. I don't have worth point. That's a good start. And if I ever find bubble bath containers, you know, maybe I'll know a little bit more about it. And I love Aldi. It's a supermarket. And I went to one in Dallas because we don't have very many in this area. And I just had to get this. It was five bucks. I don't need it. But I thought it was a cool little collectible. I like collecting things from places, obviously. Now, this. Finally got this. Oops. I don't think y'all will come bother me at my house. Oops, oops. But Oceanic Arts put out two books when they had their auction. And y'all saw my, you know, I haven't even opened them. But I finally got the auction book. This was $95, including shipping and everything. And I bet you, you know, it will be worth twice or tri triple that. But I, I definitely want to look through it. And I'm, I'm, I want to have a day where I just look through my tiki books, you know. I haven't really done that. But yeah, it's a beautiful book, I hear. And I'm glad it finally came. You know, there's been shipping issues. And speaking of Tiki, I went to Walmart yesterday because I had to take my tires into Discount Tire next door. And I found Skipper Shaved Ice. This was $2. They did not have more than one. I would have bought more. But yeah, I love little cars that have uh, advertising on it. And I, I think that's a, you know, obviously not an actual place but for two dollars it'll go in my little tiki stuff and uh let's do a few more tiki items and let's go to what the rest i got i finally got to go to um tarantula tiki lounge in fort worth and i liked it and i also finally got to go to fort kahunas in arlington this is from the tarantula tiki lounge i love it so much awesome um and i bought this I bought this Texas Tiki Week because this was the Texas Tiki, Dallas Tiki Week was the week of my grandparents' memorial, so I couldn't go. But I just love it. Oh, look, there's Don Q. Dallas Tiki Week. This was $20. And, yeah, I like my, my Thai glasses. Oh, I got a package delivery. But, anyways, uh, this is an older Dallas Tiki Tiki Week Swizzle. And I got a couple of those. Oh, here's four kahunas. There's the four kahunas right there. So yeah, I'm glad. I'm happy I got to go to two of the four or five really big time, really good tiki bars in Del um, Texas. I had to get a Brahm straw. I know I'm ridiculous, but I love ephemera. And I had a deadhead rum swizzle too. Oh, there's a little orange monkey. I don't know where it went. I'll have to find it. That makes me sad. I'm gonna cry. I had to get a little Peroni coaster too. Might throw that away because I just noticed it's stained. 
Anyways, ephemera on unfem and ephemera. Let's go to the Plano Antique Mall. My friend James and I and my mom went to the Plano Antique Mall. And the one aisle they didn't want to go to, I went down and it had, you can tell, a tiki person sold. And tiki, you know, uh, tarantula tiki bar didn't have any of their own glassware. But I saw this from their one year anniversary. Now, I do think, I think this was $12. But it's a pint glass from their... You know, I use pint glasses all the time, so I just thought it was cool. I had to get it. And also from there, I got Grandy's, another restaurant in the Dallas area that's not very common anymore. They've all gone down the hill, I hear. But yeah, I would always look for Grandy's stuff on eBay. And it turns out it's because I would never find it because I never put the apostrophe. So just so you know, apostrophes matter. In search because nothing shows up for this restaurant for Grandy's without the apostrophe there's your little tip this was only three dollars it's made by Aladdin it actually did come with a little top I guess people would have coffee but that's okay I just love it so much and in the same booth as the tarantula I found Cheetos mug it's not easy being cheesy I love it so much it was six dollars that's worth it to me and last but not least what I got at the Antique mall. My brother Aaron's going to love this. This, These are foam cheese and hot dogs. And you can make it a... has a clasp. You can make it a necklace. But that was $6. It was 20% off of $8. I love it so much. I don't know why. I don't need it. Oh, and at Aaron's house, he had a frosty root beer. And I saved the bottle. I think I already have it. Not sure. Woo! Good thing I donated a whole carload of stuff so this is swinton's and i see this every once in a while it's an ice cream parlor i don't know if there was more than one in the dallas area i've never been but i think it closed last year in 2021 but this was literally a dollar and if i already have it i will just list it on ebay because they only had one i think so that was interesting and yeah, plenty more treasures. What else? This was at a thrift store for $2. And I actually have another one of these. And they sell for about 15 So I might list them both for 30 See what happens. Not bad for $2. I haven't tried the beer. But I collect You Are Here Starbucks mugs. And I at least found this at another antique mall. Let's see, where was that? Oh, that's where... Uh, Antique Gallery and Mesquite, where Aaron and Matthew have their booth. This was $6. I was glad to add Oklahoma. I did not have Oklahoma, and I've been as recent as last year. So I was super glad to find that. And, yeah, let's look at the other thing I got at the Mesquite Antique Gallery. By the table where you check out, they had 25-cent booklets. And this is my kind of jam. What Miss Dewey did with the new Jello? I don't know. For twenty cents, I, twenty-five cents, I wanted it. I love these. Now they're kind of dated. You'll see one. I want to look this up because it reminds me of the Mister Men series, but they have Spud. It's a Munch Bunch book, and I want to know more about this. I paid twenty-five cents. Then it's got. Peanut. Now, yeah, they're not in good condition. Ollie Onion, Pedro Orange, um, and Banana Bunch. I love them so much. And I love this too, Del Monte Fruit Book. I just love that graphic. And I collect menus, and this was from the Spaghetti Warehouse. And the Spaghetti Warehouse, I believe they still have a few locations. Uh, the Austin one closed. I think there's still a San Antonio one. And, yeah, my family's church was in Farmer's Branch. And this is just a vintage little map. Thought it was kind of cool. So those are my little 25 cent finds. And, yeah, I love this. This was $5. But it's bamboo. Yes, you know, it's handmade. Uh, it teeters. This is from the Martineau Bay, did I pronounce it right? Spanish Virgin Islands, Rosewood Hotels and Resorts. And it's a little decanter and it's bamboo. 
And, you know, it's tiki adjacent. I just think it will look cute in my little tiki area. And I love that it's from a resort. And I'm going to set that down. I was so scared it was going to break. And this is, you know, not real tiki, but I have a few things like this. Melamine, it was $1.61. So I got it for a little tiki party. I don't know. And this, I'm going to Toronto for the first time this month. It's finally here. I'm going to see Lady Gaga on her Chromatica tour. So excited. But they had, they had two of these dishes. This was in better shape. But I just thought it was funny how it's a little truffle little truffle dish and I think someone hung it up and it's vintage Japan so I thought that was cool because I'm going to Toronto and it's also restaurant or you know hotel related so it was for me and that's yeah a lot of times when I go to thrift stores I only buy one thing but I, you can see I go to thrift stores a lot I got this for two dollars my mom's husband Mark uh, made us a whole bunch of wooden pumpkins like this with faces on it. And so I'm going to add it to his because I love Halloween. And this was a book, Fairview, Texas. I actually have most, I want to say 40% of the money I bring in on eBay are from books similar to this where it's about small towns and someone wrote history on it and they didn't make a lot. And so I think I can get 40 bucks for this, maybe 30. Even if I got 20, that'd be great because I paid, I want to say a dollar or two. All right. And then last but not least, I want to show what my mama gave me because she's getting rid of stuff too. And this, if you see her in the comments, her name's Sheila. Say hi. This is incense, a little incense burner, she said. A little incense tray. So I thought it was cute. And I also liked this little coupe glass. Reminds me of these a little bit. I don't know if people call them coupes, but I think they're coupes. But to me, these lines look Art Deco from the 20s, 30s. It's probably from the 40s or 50s. I don't know if y'all think you know, let me know. But yeah, I had to get this. Can't have her donate that. Look, I just, I think he sits nice in there. I put him in there and I like it. It's kind of funny. And also she gave me this. And I collected these, and I've sold almost all of them that I have. These sell for good money, y'all. People will pay 20 bucks, 25 bucks for these. And this one's in really good shape, so thank you, Mom. And Dr. Pepper. I collect soda stuff. Not everything, but this was cool. By the way, this is called the Greek Key, and I don't know why, but Versace uses it. Greek Key. If you ever need to know what those little geometric lines are. It's the Greek key. I always forget one thing, so I'm going to do a scan. Everyone help me. Type in the comments if I missed anything. No, I'm just kidding. If you all watched this and made it to the end, please give me a like. I'm trying to get more followers. And it's I finally have three weeks of this summer to where I can focus on videos. So I'll have more videos coming out and some vlog footage. Hopefully, I know I keep promising that. But thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye, everybody. Tell me what your favorite thing was.